Let's look at the state of the cryptos. So we are going to start with a chart that is a relative strength chart, BTC, Ethereum BTC. And you can see, if you look at structure, that this thing continues going down. It's not breaking. Ethereum is still lagging, maybe not for long, but it's still lagging compared to Bitcoin. So you see, so far, even though Ethereum has gone up, and I gave you Ethereum for the past two or three weeks as a buy. And by the way, since I gave it to you, it's up 30%, right? You know, I gave you this thing towards 2100, 2300, and to today was another high at 1760, 172790. All right. So this is this is really interesting. Okay. Now. When you look at the lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower lows here on the Ethereum um, BTC pair, you can see they're hovering towards the 66% chance of success of a break. So I'm still hopeful that the risk ratio, you know, is, is really valid on Ethereum Bitcoin. I think slowly but surely, there is a shoulder forming on the pair and a shoulder. That shoulder might continue like this. But eventually, we are going to see a new Ethereum dominance popping up. So I would, cup, I would keep my Ethereum, guys. You know, I would keep up my Ethereum. You know, I think it's pretty much here. Here, Jeff, I'll make you happy. <laughs> so this, this is, this is, this is, what I look at is that the, the Ethereum play is still okay, but you are not going to retire on those. There's more interesting play, maybe the EVAX play, the ICP play, the Solana and the Arbitrum play might be better. But risk ratio on the Ethereum, I'm still very, very much into the pair. So let's pull the Ethereum along. And you see, I've given you this long for the past three sessions. Last three weeks, we've done those Wealth Wednesdays. I gave you this thing. And because why? Buy on blue, right? Sell on purple. Well, we're on the purple edge, and we have a, a light blue at 3,025. So I would be careful at the 3,025. This is going to be the moment of truth for uh, Ethereum at this 3,025. Now, if we can beat 3,025 and you go to the monthly and you change your premium rule of third look back periods, we are going to look at the look back period on the weekly charts. We are going to change it to five years. Now that's going to change the target. And look at the, my next target is going to be above this 3,025, 3,600. So you have two targets for Ethereum. The first one coming is 3,025 on the edge of the yellow here, right? The second one is going to be this one at 3,006. So we have potentially another 30% left on Ethereum. The calculator tells you, you know, the premium uh, box roll of third tells you here from where we are now to the edge of our both multi calculators, which are patented, it's very unique in the world, right? We have a 30% left to make money on return on investment left on Ethereum. Now, let's look at Bitcoin since everybody's chasing Bitcoin and there's a lot of money flow with the ETF. You can see that the first target is going to be 545. 54.5, and I would be very careful, guys, at this uh, edge, 54.5, you know, 54.5, 59, you know, that because that's the previous shoulder, 62 here. But I'm going to go where the calculator says for now. This 54.5, 55 is going to be a big area of contention, and we have a possibility of a retracement at 43.48. So watch this. From my day of view for you, all the way to this 54.555. Now we pull back, right? We pull back all the way back 
to 48.8 to the 43. So 48.8 and the 43. And you have even an edge on the calculator, see those edge in between the two institutional zones, which is at 40.8. So I have 40.8 and 43.8 with the 48.8. Those are your target. And that's what we have, you know, everybody wants uh, Bitcoin to go to the moon. Well, right now, what I see, we might have another 10% upside, right? The calculator showed you even 5.39%, but we might be due for a retracement. And that's the power of the calculator. It will show us a retracement around the 54,000, 54, 55,000 on Bitcoin back all the way down to 48.8 or 43.8, possibly 40,800. Some, some scary retracement, and then we can reconstruct and see if we can take the shoulder high 62 or the old time high close to 70K, right? But you've got to respect the calculator and you need to be careful of this fear of missing people running after the crypto. Let's look at total three, and then we'll go one crypto at a time, and then we'll look at stocks, everybody. In between, I want to look at some things in the news that I thought was interesting this morning. We can look together. Let's look at total three. Let me uh, remind everybody, if you are new to the feed, that the total three here on the cryptos are showing us the entire market cap of the entire crypto sphere minus Ethereum and minus Bitcoin. Let me take this uh, alarm because this alarm is popping right now for the SPY at the top of edge. So it tells me already where the top of edge is on one of our calculator. I'm going to delete it. And I use those alarms and those trade alerts to make decisions in my quarter million portfolio. If you were in our uh, event yesterday, I was showing the guys quarter million dollar portfolio in retirement accounts here from last year, 27% return. I was showing them also uh, the crypto accounts, which uh, I started with about 37. I brought them to 50,000. And now I am back. Uh, I'm back uh, trading at what I started about 30,000. Like I take the money, you know, that's what I do when I sell and take profit. I take the money out of the crypto industry and I put it in a hard asset like this in some of our retirement accounts where I buy real stock with real product real people, you know, uh, that are working hard for me and my family. And by the way, my family is here with our five kids, one in the military, former football players. And so that's what I do. I'm a trader. I'm a father. I'm an investor. You know, I'm on an entrepreneur as well. You know, I own and I've created uh, the requirements for the power indicator. We own also day trading zones, a research and analysis firm for institutions and the retail traders for the past 14 years. And that's what we do. Trading, investing, the markets, cryptos, and stocks and options. As I was playing options yesterday, 